when we first started doing brand marketing at the Times a couple years ago, we set a challenge for ourselves, which was could we imagine a world where our marketing was as ambitious and rich as our journalism? We started with a, a dedication to like tell the stories of journalism first and foremost, and to sort of do justice to the, you know, the process. I'm not surprised at all that the journalism is that compelling because working inside the New York Times, yeah. I see it every day and I'm compelled to work there, to, to want to help tell the yeah. brand story. But it's really fun to finally see that our marketing is you know, showing glimmers yeah. of hope of being able to be as good as the journalism. There's obviously between newsroom and marketing, there's always some separation. And you know, we worked really hard again to like work with the newsroom to do these stories justice, so much so that we're now seeing the newsroom pitch us stories for us to work into you know, new pieces of communication. The truth is worth it as a line. I think it's something that resonates deeply and emotionally and will live on for, for some time because I think it, the duality of it works really well. The fact that your dollars are going towards quality independent journalism plus the idea that that quality independent journalism has real impact in society as two sort of sides of worth it that I think we'll see that ideal continue as we move into sort of the next iterations of the campaign the worth it will stay but how we bring that to life and what it means will sort of morph a little bit it will always feel new york times it will always be truthful and it will always sort of have that same rigor that we've had through when we began in 2017 to now but there'll be other permutations for sure we're at a moment in culture and in the world where the press is really under attack, not only in the United States, but really around the world. And, and some of the rhetoric that's happening in the United States has emboldened leaders around the world to attack the press's credibility as well. And so we recently did some consumer research with consumers who've subscribed in the last year, and they each had a very different reason for ultimately subscribing, but at the root of every one of their stories was a desire to support a free press and a kind of awakening yeah. in them that the press matters, that perhaps it was something people took for granted and are now starting to understand the gravity and the importance of, of supporting the press. Supporting isn't just reading. The big challenge from a marketing standpoint is to get people to understand that support means subscribing. Yeah. And that is not obvious to people even today.